not much I can do about the wind noise outside. Um, I don't have a shield for the microphone or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, cold in the wind, but in the tent it's really nice and warm because I've got the sun on it. Sometimes I have to open a flap to uh, ventilate it, it gets too hot in here. Um, at one time I was considering um, hammock camping, but looking into it with the uh, with the, with the tarpaulin and the insulation you need underneath and the bug net, you end up with a bigger pack than taking a tent around. Uh, and for the winter, there's not much draft in a tent, there would be in a hammock. So you get the benefit of the sun, solar heating from the sun. Uh, it doesn't matter how windy it is outside really. Uh, we get buffeted about a bit in the day, but come the night, it all calms down and it's really quiet. Temperature in the night goes to zero, one Celsius. Uh, that's about 32 Fahrenheit. Um, but I have two sleeping bags and nice and cosy. Anyway, hanging out until the uh, until the eclipse later. I'll video that and maybe have to edit the sound if it's really windy. This is the view out of the left of the tent. I usually have this one closed because the wind's coming from that side, but it's head on today, so not much draft. And this is my entrance. It's got the vestibule on it, so I'll go in and out of that, over to that bathroom block over, over there. I'm trying to get a good uh, sound with this microphone. I've got it plugged in this time. Cars coming for the eclipse. It's officially just started, but can't look at the sun. Don't have a filter. Have a sheltered spot to uh, watch the eclipse. Um, I'll show you what it is. You get a bit of wind whizzing. Okay, I've made myself a, a crude filter there. Basically, a hole in a piece of card. Um, means I can see what's going on. Uh, where are we? You might be able to just make out a little chunk out of the sun there. That's just uh, sun projecting through the pinhole onto that little bit of card. It's not spectacular but it keeps me busy while I'm waiting.
place was such a, uh, a huge thing, you know, the moon and the sun, it's so they're such a long way away. Ten o'clock at night, just finished video editing. I had to scrap a lot of the commentary because of the wind noise, which was a shame. And the camera had its automatic focus struggle and the light correction, it kind of spoiled the, the true effect of the darkness falling. Um, but it came out all right. Uh, I did the best with what I got. Um, lucky with the weather, last few days have been drizzly and overcast. Yesterday and today, clouds have blown away and it's just ended up a perfect day apart from the wind. Yeah, so I just added this bit on to explain that. Um, half my attention was on the video in and half was on the experience. Um, it's, it's something you have to experience a total eclipse. Um, 90% is not good enough because it's still still light and you don't you don't get to see the halo of the sun and it's you know the moon covering the sun it's such a thing of magnitude it makes me feel so small um, is I, I found it I found it quite emotional actually uh, even now and going through the video editing it, it reminded me of it as well and you you can see the changes in the light yeah, sort of a, a patch in the sky, sort of moving across before the sun came, comes back. Uh, it was, I know on a video it's only 2D, but in the 3D experience it's just, it's, it's a huge thing, you know. I just feel like an ant, you know. Anyway, waffling now. Um, time constraints have been released. Um, next step is Patagonia. I'll be going down there when the weather warms up, so I've got until summer basically to get over to Mendoza, see how the weather um, goes on and then start meandering south to Patagonia. So till then. You can see the stars.